So the iPhone 12 is one of those iPhones that's been out since 2020. And the funny thing is, I actually do think there's a lot of things that Apple loves about the iPhone 12 right now. And even though it's one of those iPhones that, you know, is a little bit different, it was, you know, an iPhone that brought a lot of changes and stuff. I think this is an iPhone that when I look back, Apple's going to love this iPhone so much, mostly because of the amount of changes that this iPhone brought at one time. And the fact that they were able to kind of go through and kind of sell this iPhone as kind of like a gap year before they started making massive changes with the 13, 14, and 15. So for those of you who don't remember, the iPhone 12, in my opinion, was a very small upgrade coming from the iPhone 11s. Whether you go from the 11 to the 12, the 11 Pro to the 12 Pro, of course there were pretty big changes, but there was lots of things that Apple should have brought back years ago that we kind of think that was like basically a massive feature or massive change for this day and age. The big thing was basically, you know, the IPS to an OLED display. Finally, we got OLED displays on all the iPhones, but Apple, you know, probably should have done this years ago. So the fact that they could have gone through and basically rearranged this iPhone, bring back some older parts like the flat sides and everything, and kind of resell it as a newer iPhone and keep that design the same way for so many years. I think Apple loves the fact that they saved so much money on like costs and, you know, expenses and everything like that. And the fact that they didn't have to even give us things like a promotion display at that time or massive changes in the performance or anything. I think they actually like that a lot because now they've stepped, you know, they kept the same exact type of design for so many generations even after the fact. So they kept it for the iPhone 13, the 14 and the 15 for the most part. They made slight alterations with the 15. But even then, it's almost the exact same type of design as the iPhone 12. On top of that, with the performance and the camera, I genuinely feel like there were such small internal changes for both of those sides that it was just kind of mind boggling to me, you know, why they didn't make a bigger change with the camera or make a bigger change with the performance. Now, I like, you know, this phone's performance and I still feel like it's a very decent camera for the, you know, for how old it is. But you have to remember the iPhone 11, I feel like from the iPhone 10 R was a pretty big change. And the iPhone 13 from the 12 was a big change, but the iPhone 11 to the 12 wasn't really that big of a change for the camera. So I think that's another area where Apple kind of looks at this phone and they're actually kind of happy with because they didn't really have to go through and like change up this phone like crazy. And they had it, you know, they, for the most part, they just changed up the outside for a little bit, but then they kept the same internals and they changed the internals here and there, but it was a kind of medium change for the most part. I think Apple actually liked that because once again, they could save some costs and the money and they could make bigger changes the next couple of years and make more people want to upgrade. So in terms of that, that is kind of one of the things I'm thinking about. I think Apple really likes this iPhone. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. The like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.